Okay. Things you shouldn't do on set. One, don't be late. That's a big thing. Be, be 30 minutes early to the set. Be 30 minutes early to call time. If you are on time, you're late. If you're late, you're super late and chances are you may not get hired again. So some photographers are a lot more stickler, uh, a lot bigger sticklers about lateness than others. I've encountered many who are, who are, uh, who are big about it. So I'm, I'm big about it. So be, be on time, be punctual. Two, put your phone away. It is, when, when you are there to learn and you're on your phone, you are not learning, you're not engaged. Um, we, we live in a time where, where we have this compulsion to always check the phone. If you can put your phone away and you can leave it off for the experience, you will be better off by, by you will be better off by miles, especially if you're on a job. If you take your phone out on a job and it's a job you're getting paid for to assist and the client looks over and sees you as the assistant on your phone, it looks like you are wasting the client's money and that's a reflection of the photographer who hired you. Always think, you don't exist in a vacuum, you are a reflection of the photographer you are there to assist. You should be their eyes and ears, you should be there to make their life easier, you should anticipate not react. You should you should be ready to um, you should be ready to to move things or carry things or, or always be ready to to make the photographer's life easier, not just do what you're told to do. When possible, come dressed appropriately. So again, if you are on set with a client, you don't you know you want to be comfortable, obviously, uh, but you you don't necessarily want to look hung over from the night before. Also. After you shoot, I'm a big believer, leave the set at least as good as you found it. So I always go the extra mile, clean up after I'm done, pack up, be ready to go, and good clean up and pack up habits.